Good morning. I have a devotion for you this morning that asks the question. And that question is, what is love? Now we know that God is love, so he is the authority to tell us what love really is. So let's look at the Bible and see what God says that love really is. In John chapter 4 and verse 10, his word says, Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loves us. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody ought to love God, whether they're sinner, saint, or what. God gives us everything we have. We breathe his air, we eat his food, we walk on his earth. It all belongs to him, but it's all for us to enjoy because he loves us. He loves us. And therefore, when we love him, it's altogether different than him loving us. We're not worthy to be loved, but he is all worthy to be loved. It is in him that we live and move and have our being. God even says, without me, ye can do nothing. Jeremiah said, were it not for the mercies of God, we would all be consumed. Now, why would that be? Because the devil is going to and fro up and down in the earth, seeking whom he may devour. And were it not God's mercies for us, we would be consumed by the devil. Jeremiah says, God has said, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Romans 5 and 8 emphasizes this. God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You know, if there was a good man in a community that was always helping people and, and he, he was up about to be put to death, the Bible says there might be someone who would step up and say, let me die in his place because he's such a good man. He says that someone might do that. But God commended his love toward us, not because we're good, but because he loves us with an everlasting love. And that's what real love is. Christ died for us on the cross. The song in our church hymnal sometimes we sing says, Though I forget him and wander away, still he doth love me wherever I stray. Back to his dear loving arms would I flee when I remember that Jesus loves me. The love of God is my favorite all-time hymn of the faith because it describes how much God loves us as far, I think, as a human being could find to put it in words. The third verse says, could we with ink the ocean fill and were the sky the parchment made, a paper upon which to write, were every blade of grass every stalk on earth, a pen with which to write, and every man a skilled writer who knows how to write. But he goes on to say, to write the love of God above would drain the ocean dry, nor could the scroll contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. Rescue the perishing, one of Fanny Crosby's song. That verse that says, down in the human heart, crushed by the tempter. That's referring to a man whose life has been ruined and crushed on the rocks of sin. Down in the human heart, crushed by the tempter. Feelings lie buried that grace can restore. Touched by a loving heart, wakened by kindness. Chords that were broken will vibrate. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the love of God. If I had a daisy this morning, you know what, you know what kind of a flower a daisy is? Its petals grows in a circle. And you've all seen that girl sitting out on the, the hill under a tree or something, and she's thinking about that boy that she loves so much. And she's hoping with all her heart that he loves her as much as she loves him. And she takes this daisy and she pulls a petal off and she says, he loves me. And then she pulls another one and says, he loves me not. 
And she says, he loves me, he loves me not. And all the while, she's hoping with all her heart, when she gets around to that last pedal, it will say, he loves me. And when that happens, she says, yes, he loves me. But if I had a daisy this morning, and I began pulling the petals off, and I was saying, God, I love you, and I wonder if you love me, and here's what I would be. He loves me. 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 God hath loved us with an everlasting love. Though I forget him and wander astray, he still loves me. God is a loving God. And he loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son to die on the cross to pay for our sins. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. But God has laid on Jesus the iniquity of us all. That is love. Not that we love God. Everybody should love God. We all enjoy all the good gifts that he gives us. The good food we eat, our loved ones, our friends. All the good gifts come from him. So everybody should love God. But you can see why we would love him. It's because of all that he gives to us. But ladies and gentlemen, real true love is that he loves us who are unworthy. We could not begin to repay his love. If we gave God all the love we have, he would not be one more bit loving because he is already loved. If we gave him all the wisdom we have, he would not be one whit wiser because he is um, omniscient. He has all, uh, all wisdom. And he is also omnipotent. If we gave him all of our strength, he would not be one whit stronger because he already has all the power in the world. He has all of it and he is all of it. So whatever your need is today, remember there's someone who loves you. David said, refuge failed me and no man cared for my soul. Now listen folks, David wasn't unsaved. He knew God. He loved God. When he said, refuge failed me and no man cared for my soul, he was running from King Saul, who was chasing him with 3,000 enemy soldiers, trying to kill him. He would knock on the door and say, could you please hide me? The king and his many, all his soldiers is after me. They're going to kill me. And they would say, we can't take a chance. We're afraid of the king. You can't hide here. Refuge failed, David. No man cared for his soul. But he said, then I looked up to God and I said, God, thou art my refuge. So no matter, no matter where you are this morning, remember, God loves you. I thank you for listening to God's word. It is true and will always be true. Forever settled in heaven. God bless you.